Hi everyone, this is Sarah Fezio, and I am doing this video um, because I have received some comments um, from some viewers that are asking about cells with paint and water. And then, so the title of the video was paint and water only. And they're like, well, you added GAC 800. Well, yeah, I did. But the thing is, I feel like primarily it's paint and water. I used water to thin the paint, not the GAC 800. The GAC 800 is an additive to help reduce crazing. Maybe in the last few videos that I put out, I had two quarts of paint, maybe there were a few tablespoons of GAC 800, not enough to impact it. And then someone asked about putting pouring medium with the pigment powder. Well, you have to have something in your pigment powder, okay? You can't just put the powder in there by itself. You could probably blow it on top of it. That might be something that I try eventually, but you have to have some sort of fluid to put the pigment powder in, okay? So, then there were questions I've used PVA. PVA is polyvinyl something or another, basically wood glue or Elmer's glue. That has vinyl in it, okay? Vinyl is not as long lasting as 100% acrylic paint, okay? Now I have an alternative to that that I'm not using today, but this particular pour is for people that want to do paint and water only and create cells. Now, does it happen every single time? No. Do I think it will happen this time? Yes. And let me tell you why. It has to do with the fact that I'm using acrylic house paint that has primer built into it, which has resin, acrylic resin, and pumice is the, are the ingredients in the house paint. I'm using Glidden Diamond in Fresh Tangerines and in Tan Suede. Now, once you start doing several pours with these materials, you begin to realize which paints are more, are more likely to create cells. And that has to do with the density of the pigment that's in it. I know Fresh Tangerine cells. I know that's what it'll do. I know that Bright Aqua Green will create cells. The only thing I'm concerned about is that I don't have, I don't want to use another house paint. I want to have two and two. So I didn't use white house paint. I used um, tan suede, tan suede gloves because I wanted that color instead. Now this over here is Artist Loft Raw Umber and you can see the thickness, okay? This is what, pretty much what that paint looks like without thinning it with water. Do I need to add pouring medium to this? No, I don't. Do I need to add any PVA glue or anything else? No, I don't. Why? Because it's thick enough already that all I need to do is add water and thin it. The only time you have to use pouring medium is when you need to thicken something. Okay, like a pigment powder, or if you're using an acrylic ink, or a fluid acrylic, or a high flow acrylic. This is way too thin, okay? This is way too thin to be put in like a dirty pour cup. That's not going to work. You have to thicken this. When you use something like this, you need to use a pouring medium. Whether you choose to use PVA glue or Floetrol or, or uh, pouring medium or golden acrylic polymer or whatever you choose to do, you have to thicken this up, okay? Same thing with the pigment powder. You have to add something to that. When you're using house paint 
or you're using paint in the tube, you do not have to add any other medium to it, okay? That's like when I did the golden um, acrylic polymer, I used the inks, I mean the high flow and the fluid by golden. I didn't use like paint in a tube. Theoretically, I could use, let's say, theoretically, if I wanted green, I could take a heavy body paint, add water to it very slowly, and thin it down. The problem is, well, there's a lot of pigment in it. There's more pigment in this because it's a professional grade paint. But the problem is it takes a lot of paint, okay? A lot of paint. And this is only two ounces. Well, that's like everything I put in this cup over here of the bright aqua green, except this one costs three times as much, okay? I'm not exactly sure of this particular one, but these cost more like $10 and I can get this for $2.50 or $3. Is there a difference in the quality of the pigment? Yes, the student grade paints like Artist Loft or Liquitex Basics will dry darker. It's not saying the others won't, but there's more likely to be a color shift when you use a student grade paint. Is there a color shift in the house paint? Like, does it dry a different color? No. It doesn't. That's why I'm not, so anyhow, that's why I'm not adding anything to this. Could I add GAC 800, like a squirt? Yes. What will that do? It will prevent the paint from crazing because no one wants, but do I consider it a pour with GAC 800? No. I would not add this to nine parts of GAC 800 because there's no need to. This paint and the acrylic polymers in it and the structure of this paint is already the consistency where you can just water it down. And why do I add GAC 800 to prevent crazing? Because I don't wanna do a painting and have a big rip in the paint down the middle of it. And then I've spent all my time and my money and my materials and my painting is ruined, okay? I don't want that to happen. But for this experiment, I'm not gonna add any. So I have my Bright Aqua Green by Liquitex Basics. I have my Raw Umber by Artist Loft. I'm going to set these to the side. I have my two house paints. Now, this is Glidden. That's the consistency without adding any water. Yes, it falls very nicely off my star stick, but I still want to thin it just a tad. Another word of caution. If you, you, if you do a very large painting, like I did the 24 and, by, and the 24 by 24, and the 24 by 36 in one night in a room that's 12 by maybe 20. It says use in a ventilated room. In other words, if you painted your walls with the house paint and you slept in the wet paint room, that would not be good for you <laughs> because there are fumes, there's not very many, but people can also be allergic to it and after three hours of working with those paintings in this room, it was, it was giving me a headache. It was also one in the morning. I hadn't eaten. I had gone to see my stepmom who was ill in the, in the hospital. And so I was not feeling very well. And I ended up opening my windows and turning my air conditioner on. So all the cold air goes out, the hot air goes in, and I got circulation in my apartment. Okay, so here is my fresh tangerines. That's the consistency. And my tan suede gloves. Am I adding any mediums to this at all besides water? No, I'm not. My purpose is to show how you can use paint and water to make cells. Why do I think I can make cells? It has to do with the fact that there's other materials inside this house paint inside this house paint 
that react differently with the artist's loft paint and the Liquitex Basics paint. The Glidden Diamond has a 100% guarantee. There's going to be a video coming out about bare paint. And I'm sorry that the 24 by 36 took so long to release, but we had testing at school this week and last week. And I'm the testing coordinator. So um, I was a little bit busy and I haven't been able to even check my phone as much as I'd like. So here is the tan suede. So my canvas is 11 by 14. I'm going to set these to the side. I'm going to get another cup to pour from. I'm going to double up so I don't crush the cup. I'm going to put on some gloves. So I hope it was perfectly clear. You only have to use pouring medium. You can use it if you want, but I would not suggest adding these Student, let, these paints are too thick really to add to the pouring medium. You're going to have to add water. And when you begin adding water to the pouring medium, it can craze. So if you do it that way, you want to add GAC 800. I know Liquitex says it's not supposed to craze, but the only painting I did that crazed was just inks and pouring medium. Just so you know. And this hopefully will not be too messy because this is my last pair of gloves. Woohoo! I guess I'll be stopping at Walmart. So, I have my four colors. Let me check the camera, make sure you guys can see everything. Yep, you can see pretty well. All right, so I have two house paints, two student level paints, okay? I'm going to put, this is going to act as my white, my tan is going to act as my white. I'm going to put some in the bottom. Didn't add any silicone, didn't add any dimethicone, I didn't add anything. That's a house paint. The next color I want to put is going to be the uh, Liquitex Basics. House paint, artist paint. Artist paint needs to be a little bit thinner. Okay, here's my consistency. You should be able to see that from the side. Pouring from pretty high up, a foot up. Oops. Okay, now I'm gonna put some more tan in. So I have House paint, Liquitex, house paint, brown artist loft, raw umber. More house paint. A little more water to my fresh tangerines. That's the orange color. And you can see cells already starting to form. Now the key is to get them on the canvas and not pour them off. Okay, what else do I have here? Um, I have plenty of paint to cover this. There's going to be so much paint it's not even going to be funny. Um, maybe I'll just set these to the side and I'll go ahead and do a dirty pour. So here's my paint. You can see on the side. Okay, hopefully. You can see inside the cup, hopefully. Oops. 
There's lots of cells in the cup already. I didn't add anything but house paint and water. Okay, I'm gonna turn. I'm trying to look inside the cup. And I have a little, I have paint left. I'm not worried about having paint left. And that's my extra cup. I don't wanna waste that. I'm running out of cups. Oh. Hold on. I hope the camera was not going in and out of focus because I had forgot to fix that. I'm so sorry. Turning autofocus off. Sorry. And I'm going to lift my cup. And you can see all my cells right there. You have to know your paint. You have to know your paint. Okay? That's, that's the best thing I can tell you. Know your paint. Know how it reacts. But now I'm slightly concerned about what? Cracking and crazing because I did not add anything to prevent that. And I want a little more turquoise down here. So I'm just going to put some turquoise in there in the dirty pour cup. I don't want to tilt it too much. It's going to run off or it's just going to fly across the room. Oops, had an accident. I hope that doesn't turn too brown. Let's see what we get here. Okay. I don't really like that, but I'm going to, I'm going to tilt it just a little bit more. It's okay. Did I spend a lot of time and effort into this painting? No, I did not. I'm covering the sides. Making sure I have paint where I need it. Because I am going to go up and see my stepmom in a little bit. Okay, so I have orange cells. I also have cells over here. There were brown cells. There were other cells in here that ended up getting poured off. Do I really like this? No, I don't really like this over here. I don't wanna keep that. This is too much blue, so. It just needs to look a little bit different. I don't care. This is just a... Example, that looks a little bit better, at least. It's a little bit more mixed together. So, I have orange cells all in here. That's kind of like lacing. These are orange cells. These are nice orange cells. These are really nice orange cells. Notice that's with the blue and then the, the desert sand. Lots of little cells over here. And these are really large cells and that's because I tilted it, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to turn off the autofocus 
and I'm going to lift the camera up so you can see. Am I worried about this over here? No, not really. It's okay. And I'm having to do this left-handed because I don't have any other gloves and Okay, so I know the camera may go in and out of focus for a minute, but I'm just going to show you what we got. So, can you see the orange cells there when the camera the color shifts? The orange cells down here, these are cells. There's lots of what looks like cells or lacing in here. In this section, I don't know if you can see, down here, nice cells. Those are all cells right there. Oh yeah, you can see that. Up here, you can see better. I'm trying not to tilt the canvas either. Okay, there are other color cells. There's orange, but there's also some brown type stuff in there. Nothing over here in the other pore without the orange. What does that tell me? That that orange sells really nicely. Do you want orange in every single painting? Not necessarily, but guess what? Once you find paints that you know will sell up very well, keep that in mind, okay? And maybe, I'm just gonna leave it, I'm just gonna turn it real quick so I can see if there's anything over here that needs to be um, covered with paint, and yes, there's just a little bit right here. Sorry for my head in the way. I'm gonna pick it up now. I'm gonna take some pictures. I'm gonna post some pictures, and I'm gonna work on um, saving this. There won't be any editing because I know that people are wondering about this. Uh, I'll post dry pictures on my Facebook artist page, Sarah Fezio Artist. I hope if you have any questions on how to use pouring medium, when to use pouring medium, uh, what the GAC 800 is for, please put those in the comments below or you can message me on Facebook, Sarah Fezio Artist, and I will answer your questions as soon as I'm able to. I should be able to use my phone during the day starting tomorrow. Um, I'd be happy to answer your questions or give you any tips or pointers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Share this with other people so that they know how to do this and kind of the reason why it works like it does. Um, I, it, I honestly believe it has to do with the house paint and the artist paint and the ingredients in the house paint that make up the primer. Um, I also am going to have a video coming out about bear house paint. Uh, that's already filmed and I got to talk to a bear representative. That will probably be coming out Friday. I also have the video about Matisse acrylic, what was it called? Matisse acrylic painting medium that we can discuss. And I have another video coming up about a another medium you can use. Why would you use that medium? That's for everyone that wants to do these very runny, very thin, a craft paint. A craft paint is too thin to do this method with, okay? A craft paint, you'll probably have to thicken. Um, this kind of paint, a fluid, you would have to add a crop, you would have to add something to it. So basically when you put your paint or your pigment in a cup, if it's not the right consistency, you may have to thicken it or you may have to thin it. You can thin it with water, but you need a medium like a pouring medium by Liquitex, a golden acrylic polymer medium by Golden uh, to thicken things, okay? So you want them all to be kind of the same consistency. And in, even as I'm looking at this, um, it's growing on me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this video Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for clicking on my ads. I really appreciate it. 
um, comments, suggestions, questions below. And I hope everyone has a good evening. Lots of love. Bye.